So I think when you're talking about this, what do you think of uh, things like a public investment in this? Can, can you make the case for the public to get involved and support uh, these facilities? Absolutely. Um, I re refer to child development centers as social infrastructure, but it's really infrastructure in the traditional sense of roads, the power grid and ports. First, these centers are fixed capital investments that will serve communities for decades if they're well maintained, just like roads and bridges. Second, as the pandemic has taught us, these facilities are essential to support commerce. Again, the re same reason we invest in airports and ports uh, and the like. Labor force participation rates for mothers with children under six is over 67%. Roughly 2 million had to leave the labor force during the pandemic because they lacked childcare. For these mothers, earned income is essential to their families. Their labor force participation is also vital to business. Third, early education is a public good. Left to the market, as we can see, from society's perspective, there is an underinvestment. And we know from research, high quality early childhood development services generate a dramatic rate of return for society as a whole. In the best case scenario, I think we would have federal funds that leveraged other funding sources. Do you think that there's opportunities for such a model? Where possible, the goal should be to stretch public dollars. Um, philanthropy, philanthropy is a source nonprofit organizations can sometimes tap for facilities, although individual giving and foundation and corporate grants are rarely sufficient to build or renovate a high quality child development center. A few state governments have offered modest finance programs. Uh, even local governments have invested community development block grant funds for some projects. It's helpful to um, think of this the way we think about affordable housing. Given very limited rental income, to generate sufficient capital to make a project feasible, a developer needs to raise a lot of equity. In affordable housing, that's often achieved by layering multiple sources. Uh, it takes longer and it's harder to develop a facility with that kind of financing. But if the federal government provided generous capital, public capital, tied to high facility standards, it's reasonable to expect localities and philanthropy could be induced to participate as co-investors.